What's going on, everyone? We haven't really seen a refresh of a certain Apple product in, honestly, we were supposed to see it last year. And since the Apple event in September, I kind of put a little bit more thought into it. And do we have not seen a new iPod in so long? And it's weird because we got the 6th gen and that's still supported, which is kind of random if you think about it. It's still supported by Apple. It's got iOS 12. I'm surprised it even got iOS 11, in my opinion. But here's what we know about the 7th gen iPod. Okay, I made some renders about it. If they were to release it, they might do a white version, just kind of switch things up. But I'll tell you at the end if I really think it's going to come, if Apple's going to drop it. Now, here's what we know, okay? In iOS 11, the Grandmaster, whatever, Goldmaster uh, last year, there was a text in the code and a string of text in the code that said that you can unlock your iPod with your face. Now, the keyword was iPod. So this was kind of like initiating the face ID kind of thing which could have been a potential leak and really could have, you know, maybe at the time Apple was thinking, you know, maybe we should release an iPod with Face ID. And I don't know if that would have been successful or not. But then, you know, since then, not really that much has been brought up. But last month, there was another little bit of a leak that showed an iPod being registered as an iPod Touch 7th generation, which would be the next iteration of the iPod lineup. And they saw this through iTunes when they connected their device. Now, this could have been another potential leak as well, but it's still like not as many leaks or as much leaks or important leaks as something like the new iPhone 10s or 10 or like the 10 back in the day. So with those two things in mind, I mean, it could have been like Apple was potentially releasing it, who knows, but here's what I think would happen, okay? At first, Apple was going to release a new iPod Touch potentially, okay? Based off these rumors, I think that they were actually planning on releasing it, you know, since there wasn't really a refresh in a long time. We saw Apple do that with the Mac Mini, they refreshed it, but I think Apple figured out there's really not that much demand for it. Like there's not that many people who really want a new iPod and I feel like that has a lot to do with more and more people not updating their devices that often. But I started thinking, I'm like, you know, we haven't seen an iPod in a long time. I'm sure people who have an iPod then probably would want to refresh or get a new updated one. But I think the more important thing is, is that our devices, our phones, our tablets, our MacBooks even can pretty much replace uh, an iPod. And there's really no point in having an iPod and a phone when our iPhones or our Androids or whatever can do the exact same things that those phones, that those iPods can do. And there's no point in carrying both devices. Now, before, I understand back in like 2007, 2010 or 12, iPhones for the most part were more expensive. So it kind of makes sense for Apple to kind of, you know, do both devices so then they can do something like that and kind of get both demographics. And that would kind of make more sense in my opinion. And I thought the huge marketplace for the iPod touches were for like little kids, you know, so I kind of took that in my head too. I'm like, let's say I had a little kid. Let's say I had a little alpaca, right? I would then go ahead and potentially give them an iPod back in the day, but now it just makes more sense to just give them my older phone, my older Android, uh, my old phone I don't use anymore, rather than going out and getting a new device or even getting like a cheap phone from Walmart or even some iPhones are cheaper at like Best Buy than some iPods. So I would just rather get them that, don't even put a SIM card in and just let them use that instead of having an iPod. And I think that's what kind of, you know, was going on in their head. You know, I think Apple at its time, you know, to kind of wrap things up, I think Apple at a time was actually going to release an iPod Touch. You know, they were going to release a new one in a seventh generation potentially with face id with a bigger screen just like what my render showed but i just think they thought you know it, it wouldn't sell as good it wouldn't be as a success as the previous one and i think ultimately they're going to cut the cord on the ipods you know i, I don't think they're going to release another ipod touch i think they're going to actually just be done with it i think they're still going to sell whatever ones they still sell at the stores i don't even know if they still sell them anymore but i don't think they're going to release a new one i think they're just going to cut the cord and probably focus their attention on other devices and I, yeah i'm not really mad about them the ipod had a successful run it was humongous and a huge success and it made the company a ton of money of course they're still going to sell the ipod touch 6th generation i think up until even ios 12 is done because then it's not supported anymore but but i guess we'll see what happens so that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions or you have anything else to add leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button that'll mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below i'd really appreciate if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.